Hey guys, so today I'm going to update you guys my phone collection. Here I have 52 phones, and this is less phones than I had last time because I did a poll on my Instagram seeing if you guys wanted me to upload this video sooner or later, and you guys said sooner. So here it is. Um, I am going to be sticking to my half year schedule for these videos, so expect another one of these in early January or the end of December. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. I'm sorry if in this video, it's not going to be the highest quality video, I can just say that, because this is a lot of phones to get through and I do not have a lot of time to film this. So yeah, um, and if any notifications going go off on the phones during the video, I'm sorry about that. I can't really control it or anything, but yeah. Um, I guess I can also say thank you for like 280 subscribers, that's really cool. We're getting so close to 300. Um, I did not expect my channel to ever get this big. My last phone collection did really well view-wise, and I can't thank you guys enough for that. So, if you're subscribed, thank you. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do so. Or, I don't really care if you do, but if you could, that would be really nice. And, so you can look forward to more content in the future. So yeah, let's get into it. So I'm going to explain the specif specifications of the device. Um, including the storage capacity and everything and where I got it and if there's any problems with it. So let's get into it. Starting off, this is an iPod 6, 8 gigabyte, or iPod 4, it's 8 gigabyte on iOS 6.1.6, .6, got it at Wegmans. This is an iPhone 4, 8 gigabyte, I got it from Target, slightly cracked back on iOS 7.1.2. iPhone 4S, 16 gigabyte, uh, oh, sorry, I forgot the password, uh, all right, this is an AT&T model. I got this from the AT&T bin. Um, it's on iOS 8.1.3. Works perfect. No issues at all. Oh, iPhone 4S, 16 gigabyte on iOS 7.0.2. Also works perfect. Got this in a phone lot. Funny thing is, I, this is actually the last phone I have from that entire phone lot, right? Okay, no, I have two phones from that phone lot because I sold off most of them or semi smashed. But yeah, I sold off most of them. Um, this is a iPhone 4S, 16 gigabyte on iOS 6.1.6, .6, not downgraded. You can't even downgrade to 6.1.6. .6. Got this from my grandparents, it was their old phone. I don't know if I said it's 16 gigabyte, works perfect in absolutely mint condition. So is this one actually, this one is in mint condition. All right, um, this is an iPhone 5. I found this at Target, it's a 16 gigabyte on 10.3.3. or 10 .3 .3. I'm not updating the 10.3.4. Oh, it's on 1% battery. That's about to die. That's nice. Um, this is the one I found at Target. It has a swapped screen and housing now. Uh, I made it silver. I want to get a white home button for it. I found this recently. This is a iPhone 5C. Um, 8 gigabyte. It's on someone else's iCloud and it's passcode locked, which really sucks because I wanted a working 5C, but nonetheless, it's absolutely meant good for parts. This is an iPhone 5S. This is actually on my mom's old phone. It has a dead motherboard. It has an unlocked 16 gig... Er, it was either 16 or 32, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, it has a dead motherboard. My little brother was using it to watch YouTube and one day, and it just randomly shut off. Not even like you could tell it shut off because it had the spinning wheel. It just shut off. And it's not, I don't know if it's the battery. I don't know what it is. I'm pretty sure it's a dead motherboard because I tried it with multiple batteries and nothing worked. So yeah, that really sucks. But this phone was having problems in the first place. That's why she upgraded to her Note 8. But yeah. This is an iPod 6, I actually found this today, I'm not going to bother making a video on it because I'm making a phone collection video. Screwed up screen, activation locked, 16GB, Ben, it's in really bad condition. I cracked the screen trying to take the screen off. <laughs> um, that was my fault, but it doesn't matter because it's activation locked. This is my iPhone 6, 16GB, I found this at AT&T. Um, it's on iOS 12.4 and... It, it needs new everything, basically. It needs a new screen, needs a new earpiece, needs a new speaker, needs a new home button, to match the housing at least. Um, needs a new charging port and headphone jack. Actually, this, there is no headphone jack. I don't know if you can see that, but I don't think there's a headphone jack um, in this housing because I swapped it from another iPhone 6. But yeah, it needs new everything, basically. I'm just going to buy an iCloud Lock 6 and use the housing and everything for it because I want to make a Mint 6. And the battery is very bad in this device. This is an iPhone 6 Plus. I got it in a trade with Jake Carroll. Or I sold him my Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. And I got this in 100 bucks in trade. So yeah, I thought that was a pretty good deal for him. Which is good. I wanted to give him a good deal on it. And yeah, it's 16 gigabyte. Has a, it, the home button isn't broken. But this is such a crappy replacement screen. That the replacement screen does not have a bracket for the home button. So base, Or a connector. So no touch ID, no home button. I'm going to get a new screen for it eventually probably. This is a iPhone 6S, 64GB, 
Um, I found it at Target. I'm not even going to show the face because it's... Sadly, it's iCloud locked, and I try to contact the owner, no response. Probably a dead number. This is a another iPhone 6S 16 or 64 gigabyte. Although this one was locked when I found it, I found it in the AT&T bin. It's in mint condition though, so I'm gonna buy a motherboard for it. Um, the screen is in black. It has a screen protector on it, along with this one. This is my iPhone 6S. I found this, or I did not find it. I got it in a trade with Jake Carroll. I use this phone all the time. Probably my most used phone besides my main phone. I love this phone. It just needs a new battery. Sorry about the brightness. Um, yeah, it works perfect. Just needs a new battery on iOS 12. Point, or no, it might be on iOS 12.0. I never remember upping, updating this thing past that. I found this in the AT&T bin. It's an iPhone 7, matte black, 128 gigabyte. Has a very screwed up screen. Although, I just need to get a screen for it and then it will be working perfect. This is my main phone. It's an iPhone 7 Plus, rose gold. Works perfect, got it brand new from Apple, unlocked. I love this phone, I'm gonna be using it for like a year or so, and I'm gonna get something newer. <laughs> this is a Blackberry Classic, works perfect, got this at Target recently. I really, really love this phone, it's in really good condition on Blackberry 10. There goes a notification. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it works perfect. Uh, now we're moving on to CoolPad, only CoolPad. This is a CoolPad Revol Plus. I got it at, or no, I bought this off of eBay, bad ESN, but works perfect, really good condition. I really love the design of this phone. Moving on, this is my Google Pixel, uh, works perfect. I bought it off of eBay for $50, 50, not 15, I, it sounded like I said 15. Uh, just a crack down there, works perfect, has a pretty bad battery, honestly, but besides that, it works. This is my HTC One M8 Harman Kardon edition doesn't work bad battery that's it turns out it just has a bad battery i might or i'm not even going to try to replace the battery because these things have extremely hard battery replacements to do i looked at a youtube video and i'm not even going to try to attempt it but the screen does work i'm going to try to leave it plugged in on a fast charger and see if that does anything but i guarantee it won't sadly this is my htc one m9 32 gigabyte i got this under trade jake carroll works perfect just has a cracked screen slightly this is my LG G Stylo. This is my old main phone from like two years ago, three years ago now actually. Works perfect, um, no issues at all, or almost three years, but yeah, eight gigabyte. It just has a really bad battery because I used this phone for a while and then it sat dead in my friend's room for a while and then I traded it to Jake Carroll as I got it back and it sat dead in at his house for a long time. So yeah, this thing has a very bad battery, but still a nice phone. This is my LG G5, I bought it for eBay for like $30. Um, it has a smashed LCD now because I put a couple phones onto it and apparently it broke the LCD. I don't even have a battery in it right now, but yeah, that really sucks. I'm going to get a new screen for it though because no boot loop or anything. This is my LG Phoenix 2. I got an entry with Jake Carroll. It's reset because I'm actually training it back to him um, eventually. This is my LG Phoenix 3. Bought it brand new at CVS for like $10. Yeah, $10 actually. Works perfect. I really like the design of this phone. I just never use it. This is my LG G6, got it in a tray, we'll tech that YT. Works perfect, 32 gigabyte on Android 8. I really love this phone. Uh, the case is scratched, not the back. And yeah, it's a pretty nice phone besides the home or power button doesn't work unless you press down on the back cover. It's just a problem with the motherboard sitting up too much. I don't know. That's what he told me. Uh, this is a Moto E2. Works perfect, got it from Target. No issues at all, mint condition. This is my Moto G3. Uh, 8 gigabyte on Android 6 works perfect. Bought it brand, not brand new. I bought it off of Macari. This is my uh, Motorola Tur or Droid Turbo 2. <laughs> I almost called it a Moto Turbo 2. No, nope, Droid Turbo 2. Uh, works perfect. Uh, I got it off of Macari. Has a pretty good battery, and the screen protectors crack. The screen doesn't crack on these things. I really like this phone. I just never use it. This is my uh, Moto Z4 or. Er, Z Droid, not a Z Force. Um, works perfect. I bought it off of Mercari as well. I really need to use this phone more. It's a really nice phone. I just never use it because the battery's not that good. But that's all Moto Z Force or Z Droids. <laughs> this is my Moto E4 Plus. Got an entry with Jig Carroll. Works perfect. Cracked screen. I got this tar at Target recently. I never even made a video on this phone. It's fun. This is my Moto E5 Play. Works perfect. Non fingerprint scanner model because it's a Metro PCS model but still works perfect. It's not unlockable, however, sadly. This is the Moto G6 
play or forge, whatever you want to call it. I bought it brand new at Target and I just never use it very, or I don't use it a lot. I really should use it more. It's a nice phone. Um, that is my puppy Ruby. I guess she can be featured in this video. I took that picture on this camera, which it's a pretty good camera or yeah, pretty good camera, honestly, like not terrible. This is my Samsung Galaxy Active S Neo. I got this in the ATN or at AT&T, not in the AT&T bin. Um, it works perfect. It's an old demo unit. This phone was rare to begin with because, I don't know, not a lot of people bought them. But this phone is extremely rare because it's a demo unit. And that's really cool. I'm going to keep this phone for a very long time, even though they are worth like two, $200, basically. Even 300 maybe, because this is a demo unit. I don't know. But yeah, I'm not going to do anything with this phone. I'm going to keep it. And yeah. This is... What? That was weird. I literally just heard, like, noises in my room. <laughs> um, now I'm getting creeped out. Fun. This is a Samsung Galaxy S4. Got it in the Wegmans bin. Works perfect. Um, no issues at all. Although, the SIM card reader's broken, which is kind of weird. It's not, like, broken off. It just doesn't read SIMs. Yeah. It says that with all SIM cards. It's not just this one. This is my Samsung Galaxy S5. Got it at Target. Works perfect. Um, white, although the charging port doesn't work, which really sucks, because this is a mint phone with no issues at all besides that. This is my Samsung Galaxy S4 I got from my mom's friend. Works perfect on Android 6. Uh, yeah, just in pretty bad condition, missing camera glass too. This is my other Samsung Galaxy Note 4. I got it at Target. Works perfect, just has, it's in mint condition, just has slight burning, but it's not even ba that bad. This is my Samsung Galaxy S6 I got at Target. Weird charging port, but still works fully. It's still on Android 6, which is nice, so yeah. Uh, doesn't have camera glass, but I'm getting some from Tech YT. This is my other Samsung Galaxy S6. This one was my little brother's old phone before he got an iPhone SE. Uh, yeah, works perfect. Pretty good battery, actually. Both of these have good batteries. Samsung Galaxy Express 3 got it at AT&T in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Yep, pretty nice phone. Uh, no issues at all. I got this from the Wegmans bin a long time ago. This is my Samsung Galaxy On 5. Works perfect. Uh, it was on T-Mobile, but I unlocked it. This is my Samsung Galaxy J7 VI, or 2016 model. Uh, I always say this when I mention this phone. It's an unlocked dual SIM, which is kind of rare. You don't really see these J7s anyway, and the unlocked dual SIM is pretty rare. Especially, or I mean in the U.S. at least. I never, I haven't seen anyone else with these, this phone besides my friend's mom, who I got it from, and my friend's mom's son. This is my Samsung Galaxy J7 or S7 on Android 6. Got an interview with Tech That YT. Just has a cracked screen and a bad ESM. But works perfect on Android 6. It's extremely fast because of it. This is my Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. Works perfect. Has a pink line on the screen and a little, I don't know where if I can display it. Yeah, black dot. But still works perfect on Android 8. Bought it off of eBay for like $27. Um, this is, this I actually found today along with that iPod. Why does the home button look blue? <laughs> uh, it's a Samsung Galaxy J3 Luna Pro. And I tried to bypass the Google lock, but it's so weird. So, you know how you're supposed to draw an L on the screen to bring up accessibility settings? Look, I'll do it right here. I can draw the L all I want, but I can't get into accessibility settings unless there's another way I'm supposed to do it. And yes, I have talk back on and all that, but I don't know, it's so weird. But it's in pretty bad condition anyway, so I don't really care. And sometimes the power button doesn't work. I don't know. <laughs> it won't shut up. Alright. We're just gonna leave that there. This is my Samsung Galaxy S8. I got it in a trade with Tech That YT. Works perfect, still on Android 8, not updating it. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, now I'm getting spammed with notifications on this phone. Yeah, works perfect on Android 8. Um, just has a cracked screen and a slightly cracked back. But the screen isn't even cracked that bad. Sorry about the notifications. I got a really nice case for this phone. And yeah. This is my Samsung Galaxy J7 orbit or j3 orbit and i'm really pissed off by this phone i found it with the e5 play and this phone is google locked but i can't bypass it i've tried like four bypasses none of them work for some reason um i had a couple people even suggest me bypasses including um uh, murphy123 and tech geek josh shout out to them for trying to help me bypass it along with tech that yt although all the bypasses I tried, nothing worked, which really pisses me off because I really like the design of this phone and I really like this phone and I would totally use it a lot if I could bypass it. Alright, moving on to the home stretch, four more phones. 
This is my TCL LX. Works perfect, bought it brand new at Target. It's not cracked, it says um, stuff on the screen. But yeah, works perfect. Uh, bought it brand new on Black Friday at Target. Also one of my, or this is one of my more viewed videos along with my phone collection video. This is my ZTE Maven 3. Um, I bought this, or no, this phone I got from the Target bin. It has a very, very, very bad battery. It dies extremely quickly. This phone was at 100 before I started recording and it's just been sitting here and it just dies in like an hour. If, not even if you're using it, it just dies in like an hour if you're sitting here with it on standby. This is my ZTE Z5C. This is one of my most viewed videos on my channel for absolutely no reason at all. Um, it's not even a very good phone, and the unboxing video I did it was pretty terrible. The phone was rotated the wrong way, so the video was sideways, but still, it's really viewed on my channel for no reason at all. Um, thank you guys for that, but I don't know why, but yeah. I really like the design of this phone, even though I don't use it. It has a very, very, very crappy processor, but yeah. One of the reasons I think it's highly viewed is because the ZTE Z5C, it's not a name that you usually hear of. You usually hear of, like, the Fanfare 2 or something, which is, I think, another name for this phone on different carriers. But, yeah, I, you never really hear of this phone. I, I've never seen anyone else with that phone, really. I've seen one other person, but, you yeah. know. And then this is probably one of my favorite... Yeah, this is probably one of my favorite phones in my entire collection. This is my ZTE Blade Z Max. It's a really nice phone in mint condition. Got it from my friend for my birthday. And, yeah... So this is my complete phone collection. I'm missing a couple phones. I already know that for a fact But this is basically all my phones and I hope you guys enjoyed this video If you did be sure to subscribe if you're not already uh, For more great content in the future, and I will see you guys next time